Thank you. Thank you. Next matter, if you're good discussions, I would ask you to go outside because we do have a yeah. All right, our next matter is 140 Hills Drive, which is an existing uh, utility easement. I'll read it in the record. Notice of intent by Boston Gas Company, National Grid. The applicant proposes maintenance activities on existing natural gas lines and will be installed in a temporary bypass. That will be in use while maintenance works uh, Resource area. Resource areas bordering vegetated wetlands. For the applicant? I don't think there's as much interest in this one. So. Bill, Bill, we got to have you go outside if you're going to discuss this. I'm sorry, Peter. Okay, take it. I'm Agnieszka Przybysz, Project Manager from National Grid. Agnieszka Przybysz. You have to spell it. It's A G N I E. S Z K A. That's the first name. And the last name is B R C Y B Y S C. Yes. I know she signed in. Yes, sure. Yeah. Should I sign in? No, 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 no. Uh, oh, no. Yeah, I was a little bit And I'm Andrea Agostino with National Grid. I did sign in. I'm the environmental scientist on the project. The, uh, the project is uh, on the Milton and Quincy line. Uh, the primary kind of purpose of the project is to install some new gas equipment um, within the town of Milton. Uh, part of the project also extends some of the maintenance work associated with the new project that sends into the city of Quincy. Uh, you guys see the board here? The uh, project area is the, the technical address of it is Milton Station. It's 750 Randolph Avenue in Milton. Uh, the location is essentially the Blue Hills, the northern extent of Blue Hills, is kind of the southern boundary of the, the station. Uh, the Brennan Links Golf Course is kind of the northern area. There's an access road that goes along the south edge of the Granite Hill um, Golf Course and comes down to the station. <coughs> All of the work is proposed within the existing clear right of way of an existing pipeline. And um, work within the city of Quincy is primarily temporary in nature. There's some maintenance work to replace a section of the existing pipeline and um, associated with the new installation of equipment in, this, in the town of Milton. Uh, they need to isolate this existing section. So there's a tie-in pit that's associated with new uh, equipment um, right in the wetlands, kind of at the, at the city border. Um, <coughs> the um, maintenance work will take place over several months. We're hoping sometime this, uh, this summer. <coughs> sorry, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we're hoping to start uh, the construction next mm -hmm. month, and uh, we should be ending it uh, into the middle of the fall. And uh, I think that uh, the only piece that you will see on the Quincy part is this location here. Um, and as Shana mentioned, it's within already cleared right away. Uh, the rest of the work is on Milton uh, or uh, DCR.
And what is the access? I mean, it, it's clear right away, so you could access some Yes, right so the access is from the existing uh, third access road, which is on the Milton side, along our property, and then through the DCR, uh, on, on the right way on the DCR line to uh, the location. So the proposed work within the wetlands itself is um, excavation uh, just to get down to the existing pipeline. Uh, work will be facilitated by the use of swamp mats within uh, the wetland just to the side of the excavation hall. Uh, it should take three or four months to complete. And then um, I think just to kind of elaborate on, on the questions we received from the town is near. Yep. Um, and then um, we're looking for some more information about restoration practices. So during construction, they'll um, excavate uh, down to get to the existing pipeline. They'll have a shoring around the trench and uh, swamp mats in and around where they're hoping to um, kind of stage and, and work from within the wetlands. <clears throat> Following construction, um, there's not an awful lot of room at this site uh, within the existing right-of-way, so all soils removed from the, the trench will actually be taken off-site just because uh, with our staging area and the equipment that has to come in there, <clears throat> there's not um, room to kind of stop uh, pile the existing soils. So it'll be taken off site, and then the, uh, the trench at the end will be backfilled with a suitable material uh, to cover the, pot, the pipeline. And then the top layer would be you know, high organic content loam. Uh, since there won't be an existing seed or root stock, that loam would be seeded with uh, you know, a wetland seed mix within that kind of the wetland area, and then for the rest of the pipeline would be an, an upland seed mix. And within that pack of information, there are the, the other species that are in that seed mix. And we've been working with DCR on construction access permit, and one of the comments they requested is a native seed mix. So you'll see at the very end of that packet, um, we have two um, native seed mixes, one an upland and one a wetland that we'll be using for restoration of the disturbed work areas. That, um, any of the filled uh, organic loam would be uh, graded to meet the existing grades, so um, you're not going to have a kind of a mountain appearance, and um, the swamp mats would be removed and cleaned on site and then and shipped off site. So the work is all temporary, there's really no permanent installation, it's just replacement of an existing vein and uh, temporary pipe to allow the gas to continue flowing while we do the main replacement and no permanent equipment, no tree clearing, everything will be done within the existing disturbed footprint of the station and the pipeline and the access areas. So it's really a temporary, um, totally temporary impacts during construction only. Okay, and, and you've addressed the city engineer's questions quite extensively on how you're gonna restore it. Okay, so I can put that in the file. Yeah. And Mr. Zane, we'll take a look at that too. Yeah. Uh, but any other questions? Do I have a motion? Motion to close and issue the order conditions. Second. Second. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Do you have a second copy? Yeah, Thank you. 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 Some One line they gave us. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it looked like they figured yeah. it out. Uh, all right, so the other matters we have are uh, East Guam Street Sewer Repair Emergency Order. Yeah. 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 That, um, that is now complete. They did a knockout job. Um, they were there yesterday cleaning it all up. It was a very extensive job. We did have two detailed policemen there every time they were working. But the company that the city hired, people at Marina Bay are very impressed. It was done, it was done efficient. And they're going to be coming back for the NOI. Uh, they should be because of the emergency situation. But right now, you ride by there, it's impeccable and looks terrific. It's all done. It's all done. We don't need a vote right yeah. No, we just need a now to complete the paperwork and everything's yeah. done. And the other matter is 117 Lansdowne Street, emergency order. Is that? Yeah, Rob well, is here. So, for the record, Mr. Chairman, my name is Robert Dahlbeck. I'm an attorney in Quincy with offices at 115 Billings Road. And I'm here on behalf of my dad, 
who uh, owns the property at 117 Lansdowne Street. He's had a dock uh, as an accessory used to his single family house since the 60s and has a Chapter 91 license for it. Um, yeah, that's filed and registered at Norfolk Registry District of Land Court. With my emergency certificate form, I provided you copies of that, which shows the site plan um, and the existing dock structure and the, and the layout. Um, oh, okay, that's what that was. Yeah. <laughs> Is that the only copy? No, I have one. I know, but has anybody else seen that? That was the only May I, may I approach? Sure. I have some photographs of what brings me here. And what the emergency is it was collapsing? Yes, we had a main structural beam, 2 by 12, which um, broke in half. And that compromised the piles which support the structure. And I think Nora has four yeah, copies of these, but there, yeah. I'm not sure how well, they, how, how well they copy out. Um, it will essentially be the same as it was before. Yes, under the license they require to stay completely within the footprint of the existing structure. Okay. They can repair and rebuild, but they can't can't go beyond that. So that's that's what's going to happen. The uh, issue that we have is the East Marine that came in to do the contracting on it said can't do an emergency repair. It's compromised to the point where uh, they can't put good wood on bad wood. So they're in the process of taking it down and starting that to make it safe and, and do the rebuild project. I've, um, Nora was kind enough to provide me with the notice of intent forms, which I've almost completed. I have the butters list, and I plan to file those by Friday, so we can be on the August 2nd, so you'll have paperwork and plans to see what's happening there. So in the meantime, were you able to just stabilize it? Is that what, so they're, they're they, 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 can't, they can't stabilize it. It's, it's, it has to come down. It has to be rebuilt. It has to be rebuilt. Okay. Yeah. So well, what you're seeking permission to take it down at this point? To take it down and stop the rebuilding process. Well, I mean, to start rebuilding will be the notice of intent. Well, under, under the Chapter 91 license, they have, he has the right to rebuild it. Yeah. And so the notice of intent is going to cover that all right. as well. But I mean, we will just right now approve taking it down. Yes, but the rebuilding process is probably going to start immediately. I mean, it's mid-season, and, and the marine contractors, you can't get that often. So he's well, he's we, going to be doing work with the piles. So you know, we could offer you uh, the uh, order of conditions that said uh, uh, remove and, uh, and uh, replace and replace in the same place. That would be fine, because it's coming out the where we... But yeah. He's coming in, so let's do an emergency order just that yeah. will only go as far as, as necessary to start. The, the work, but you'll still come. But they, they yeah. have He's started. saying he might, within that time period, he may be, may be off or he will be It may be rebuilt yeah. by And it's been started. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Only that, because of the, the situation with the yeah. emergency, we didn't want anybody walking out there right, touching right. it yeah. and getting hurt. Okay. So that right. was what the emergency was all about. I would say, I would say if it's, if it's just, uh, just, uh, uh, replaced exactly the same as pretty much the same as it was before. Uh, that pretty well covers the you know, the repair thing. But we give him an order. We can give him an order. Emergency order. We give him an order. But he'll still he'll still file the notice. I'm still yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, 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 my understanding is I'm required to file the full notice of intent to do that. And we'll probably we'll probably be able to do it on the first next next month. Okay. 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 So. Do we have a motion for that? That is a motion. I make the motion. We are already in the motion. Emergency order. Yeah. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, members. Yeah. Okay. One more. Yeah. Eighteen to twenty-two mechanics. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you got it. Yeah. You were approved. Okay. Great. Yeah, I went out to That's the only way after the files. So yeah, yeah, I have them on there. Okay, we've got the 18 to 22 McCann Street Thank you. certificate yeah, of compliance. Yep, they're in compliance. The, uh, the landscaping is done. It's nice looking. Okay. The still work is going back and forth, but the outside of the building is nice. Okay, is there a motion? motion? Motion to issue the certificate of compliance. Second. Oh, second. Oh, fair? Okay. Do you have to turn it off? No, okay, we just have one. Oh, they, okay, we can turn it off. Um, yeah. So motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. 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 Second.
motion to adjourn. Okay. That's just some correspondence. So we're not signing the Adam Street one, right? No. The next time, no. okay. We take that out. No, she uh, turn the power off. <laughs> okay. All right. Two, three, four. Let's get this on. Uh, and this is, uh, this is North Quincy High School that we didn't get signed last time. It was the only year, so. No, no. Okay. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Alright, so we got to cover. Rob, Rob, are you gone? Yes. Alright, see you tomorrow. Alright, we've got, yeah. uh, that was the two notices. Yeah. Uh, we have a DEP notice here. Uh, oh, the yeah. The site visit. We're going to put this on the record. Yeah. What is, what is that new one? It's site visit for uh, 149 Rockland Street. Remember I went in front of us last week, or last month, 141, yeah. when there was a superseding order, but I let you guys all, I always email that to you guys. Superseding, so there's going to be a site visit on July the 19th at 10 o'clock. Who was it for? For a 149 Rockland Street. But the DEP's coming, so I mean, we yeah. can go so or not go, we, we've already approved it. Yeah, so they're coming. Okay. That was the house for the minute chair now. Yeah. Yeah. And then, what is this notice? Oh, that was, they did a ring, that was a, it's a few weeks ago, I had that, a few months ago. Oh, okay, so we yeah, have to do that. Now just let you know that. Yeah. This is for me, okay. All right. All right. You, but you're responsible. Oh, and you need to ignore that. I need a second one, but I got This has been dying for a while. John, you bring up the guy that the ice cream guy, all of the stuff to them. They said to me, I think it's a mouth. Oh, it's fine. Tell them we get you one that you, doesn't have so many buttons. Yeah, I know this is a crazy thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. Or thank you. Very cautious in my own bag. Okay. I don't need. Don't you go without your signatures now? Okay, okay. signatures. Yeah. I'll give you these envelopes. Yeah. Which one do you like in here? Oh, yeah. This means we have got to this comfy. <laughs> to this. Well, it's up, to you. it's up to you. So, yeah, you know, it's up to you guys. But, I mean, we've already approved it. We've approved it. Yeah, I, I you can go to meet him if you want to. Then, who okay. knows? It's up to you guys. You don't have to. If you have a, a day that you're very bored, you can go. <laughs> can I ask a question? We have the city ordinance now mm -hmm. on the landscaping. Yeah. You want to check where was the question now? How could you forget to move it down? Where are you? How come you want to Somebody else is on twice, isn't it? Peter. Just... I'll take William to get off as he goes in there. Yeah, right, just, yeah, just... Uh, yeah, back it out. Is it typical lawyer? Yeah. All right. And I... Will you want to sign as well? Yeah, it's nice. It's actually a beautiful, spectacular building. It's uh, actually historical. We have we know that one that was off to the right. There were times more. I didn't even see anything off to the right, but I was so yeah. busy looking at the new road and looking at yeah. the heart and lot and that right. The property block is the old, the big yellow yeah. real estate, right? Uh, the, no, city block, the, no, the city block. The city block. The city block real estate. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if that close. There's nothing else between real estate and then? Why is this one here? Yeah. Get everything now. As I say every year, I'm going to go to that. They do a thing at the Beale State on 4th of July where they read the letters between Jefferson and, and Adams. And then every year, I forget to go. Setting the I want to see the square one. Even though the city has all these ordinances, we still, as conservation, need those in our trials. The uh, landscape. landscape yes. I, I just, our jurisdiction so that we can't do anything like planning. Planning. No. I, I love but landing board. They get to say, put it here, put it there. We just get to say, yeah. if you took it down, to you just put something point. back up. Yeah. And, you know, and so but, we don't have, but we want to see it. We want to see it. And, and if we don't see it, then they can do something else. But the city actually has their own planning board now, their own thoughts and ideas. And they have a tree ordinance and all of that. 
outside of the box. So, yes, yeah, so we have superseding things. We yeah. have other people looking at the same thing. Yeah, we want to plan this. We want to make sure that they live up to their plan. That, that but we don't have as much discretion. Correct, but that doesn't mean we totally eliminate it either. No, no, no. But I mean, sometimes they want us to tell them, put the tree here, put the tree there. We can't do that. No, I never it's say, what to say it. Well, I always keep it. But you know how you come in, someone comes in, if you okay? Yeah. Right. What is this, an emergency on? No, it's a good thing. I'm trying to figure out how you get the water from the oh. furnace brook. Because it's hard not to set it or a washing machine. Because I swam in that brook as a kid. What is it? I grew up in Union Street. Right at the bottom of Union the Street. And there are some properties over there that, hmm, how did they get built there? All right, well, I'm going to take a look. Good night. Good night. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good night, Norma. Years ago, yeah. Yeah. for the first time, I forget it. I, I, I think I was half. Have I everyone here? So we just. Good night. Yep.